Can uh, either of you guys, or maybe both of you guys, address um, the loss at Riverside was about as disappointed as Coach Kanata has been all year. Um, just what it mean to come out with a statement like this from start to finish? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was our first conference loss. Um, you know, they hit a lot of shots that game. So uh, since then, you know, we had a long film session after that game about where we need to be defensively in order to compete for a championship. And that was kind of a, a turning point for us defensively as far as, like, we gotta had to commit ourselves to that end if we want to be, you know, a legitimate contender in this conference. And uh, so we knew when we had a chance to get them back on our home court, we wanted to come out and have a good performance uh, from the start, and we were able to do that today. So it was good to avenge a loss. You never want to lose to a team twice in conference. Uh, so now we just gotta get ready for the next one. Jack, it seemed like you were able to find yourself freed up for open yeah. shots several times tonight, yeah. a couple times in the corner to start the second half. Yeah. What were you able to do, or what were your teammates also doing to, to set you up for those? Um, I mean, when for, for shooters like uh, Brock and I, you know, when you see his zone, and the team says his zone, your eyes light up because, you know, they're going to lose you at some point. So that's what I was just trying to do. I was just trying to move around, get to open spots. And, you know, these boys doing a great job of just finding me the ball, and I was locking them down. You guys have any, like, uh, individual goals aside from, like, winning uh, for the next game on Sunday night? Um, I don't have any individual goals, you know, I'm just I'm more about the team, you know, we just want to win, we want to take it as far as we can, you know, it's three games in three days at the end of the day in March, so, you know, we're getting ready for that, we're trying to put ourselves in the best position we can for the tournament, so, you know, I don't have any individual goals. I mean, I just want to win, I'd love to end my college career, you know, with three straight wins in the stand, uh, three game winning streak home, you know, we got two right here, so if we can get that last one, that'd be big, so, I mean, us as seniors will remember, uh, so, other than that, nah, we just want to keep work and getting better and, you know, keep our eyes on the end goal, which is conference a championship and then, you know, playing well in the Big West tournament and competing for that championship as well. So that's about it. Brock, I apologize if you were asked this already, but um, the first few minutes of the game, you know, you guys came out on fire, it seemed like, and yourself, I think you hit, like, your first six shots or something like that. What was really the, the rhythm of the game or what kind of came to you in those few minutes? Uh, to be honest, I just felt I felt good, you know, as soon as the ball tipped off. Uh, I was hitting a lot of shots in warm-ups, uh, which for me is big just because, I mean, feel, when it feels good in warm-ups, I feel like it'll translate in the game. So then I saw my first one go in, and uh, after that, it was just taking what the defense gave me if they let me open for threes or if they let me get to the basket. And uh, so it was just I just wanted to come out and be aggressive, and, you know, my shots were falling early, and I was glad that I was able to get, you know, everybody else going. And then, you know, a lot of other guys caught on fire after that. So... That's the beauty of our team, like I always say, it's just the balance. Uh, and so everyone was clicking today.